What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to a new pre-sale review. In this pre-sale, we'll be taking a look at meme combat. All right. So um, I have to say, to start off this video, I, I, I want to start in a good mood, but at the beginning, I actually wasn't that much of a fan of this pre-sale. I'm also a little bit done with all the pre-sales. Um, but in the end, I actually do think this pre-sale has some potential and I might actually invest in it. Uh, I'll tell you why, right? It's, it's based on some very simple reasons. In the end, like I always say, these pre-sales are very, very high risk um, and potentially high reward, but usually they're just high risk with a good reward, all right? So they're, they're not the best investments. Um, there are way better investments out there, but I actually do think meme combat has some potential um, for multiple reasons. Uh, but first of all, like I said, I mean, it's, um, well, I, I, I did not like it at first. It, it, it was just a little bit of a feeling. I mean, just another uh, meme coin kind of pre-sale with no product, no platform, because that's what it is. Um, it, it, what it's trying to build is a web-based gaming and wagering platform, which is a pretty competitive market. So it's also not easy to get into that. Um, and then in, in general, it's just your, your typical pre-sale, right? So it's uh, you, you can stake right now, which brings a little bit of utility. If you actually buy the tokens, you can already stake it now. But apart from that, I, I just did not really like the idea and still I'm very I'm very my, mildly enthusiastic about the idea and the platform. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work out, all right? I, I, I just, I'm, I'm not. Um, the reason why I think it has some potential though lays in some some other uh, factors. And, um, and that's what we'll talk about. So first of all, I think the tokenomics are actually pretty decent. Uh, if you take a look at the tokenomics right here, what you'll see is that it's actually been thought out. 50% um, goes to the pre-sale allocation. By the way, that's uh, th that's also a reason why I like it. It's only a $1 million uh, cap, which is very low. So it's very easy to generate uh, generate hype and FOMO because FOMO uh, with these pre-sales really comes to existence if the cap is very low. So people cannot easily get in. Um, so that's pretty low. And then the tokenomics seem to be well thought out with 50% with to the pre-sale and then staking and battle rewards thought out where it goes, a, uh, a DEX allocation, which we need obviously, and community rewards also seem to be good and well thought out. So that's that's the first plus that I wanted to talk about. Um, now, we gotta keep it balanced. Another negative for me is this audit. Uh, they did an audit and there are actually three low risk, um, low risk mistakes in the code. Um, which are not, they, they, they should not be disastrous, all right? They, they should not be dangerous, but it's um, it, it's a little bit of a sign for, for the rest of the of the project. So I did not like that. So in, in general, I'm still very neutral about this pre-sale. I might just put a little bit of money on this, um, but if you do want to buy this, and I'll leave some links down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself, if you want to check out the entire uh, white paper. Uh, but if you do want to buy this, I would only put in money you're willing to lose, like really willing to lose, all right? Because... In my eyes, it's it's very high risk, and uh, and there's no guaranteed reward. Um, so so why do I then actually why did I actually do did think that this was a little bit of an um, that this has potential, right? That it's actually better than what I thought at first. Like I said, that cap one million, the hard cap, um, the tokenomics, and then two more things. And that is that the team is actually known of this pre-sale, which I like. You you barely see that. You can actually find uh, the the founder on LinkedIn, uh, which is actually a pretty big plus. And and most of you will agree with me on that. And apart from that, it's actually um, it's actually located in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands. Which usually that's also what we saw with uh, BTC Twenty. If you still remember the pre-sale, uh, usually if these projects are based in in countries with pretty tight regulation, which Amsterdam has. Um, Usually they have a little bit more of an incentive to make sure it's not just a, a crash from the get go. Um, so that's actually that might be the, the, the best uh, reason why it actually has some potential because the team is known, right? There's actually reputation online and it's known where they are and they're based in, in, in a country with pretty tight regulation. It's actually, to be honest, this address is a 10 minute bicycle ride for me. <laughs> so I might just check the check out what, what they're doing. Um, but those are really the main reasons, all right? So so that they are known 
uh, both in, in, in location but also in team. The hard cap, which is a low and, and it's a hard cap and there's one price for the MK tokens. That's another plus. And then that it seems like the project, you know, there is no product, there is no platform, but it seems to be well thought out. Uh, so that's why I'm willing to give this project the benefit of the doubt. And that's why I think it actually does have some potential. Now, um, it, it will depend a lot on the FOMO as well. Right now, it, it seems to be like their social medias are, are not popping off yet. Uh, it also only just started three days ago as well. So we'll see how this goes. I'll keep an eye on this. If you're if you're interested in it, I might even make an update video. Uh, let me know about that. But for now, these are my thoughts on Meme Combat, the pre-sale. So if you do want to check it out, like I said, links will be down in the description. But for now, thank you for watching. Enjoy your Sunday and bye.